In today's video, we are going to be having a look at configuring Visual Studio Code to run my robot framework scripts. So I'm going to go through the process of installing the required extensions and configuring my project to run and debug my robot framework scripts. So without any further delay, let's get straight into it. And I'm using one of the pre-existing projects that I created in PyCharm. And as you can see in my robot script, currently when I open it in VS Code, it just appears like a plain text file. We will need to install some extensions so that we can get the IntelliSense capability working. So I'll first go into the extensions panel over here and search for Robocore. And I'll need to install these two extensions, Robocore Code and Robot Framework Language Server. Please do not install any other robot framework extension like the robot framework IntelliSense because I found them to be conflicting and it actually ended up breaking my IntelliSense. So just stick with these two extensions that are provided by Robocore. At the time of making with this video, the Robocop code extension version is 0.20.0 and the language server extension version is 0.32.0 and my VS code version is 1.63.0 and in order for me to get my robot framework intelligence working I had to go into the settings for my robot framework language server and then provide the python path in a couple of places so robot python executable I have entered the path of my python and also robot language server Python. Again, I have entered the path of my Python over here. Once this is done, you can close and restart the IDE once again. And if you look at the robot script now, you will see that the color scheme is changed. And it will start giving me the IntelliSense support for all the keywords. And you can see if I type open, it shows me all the keywords that are available. And I also have the option of running and debugging my test cases or running and debugging my whole test suit. So let's say I want to debug this test case. Let me put a breakpoint over here first. And let me click on debug. You will see that it's actually now started debugging the test case and now I'm currently stopped on this breakpoint. And once I'm stopped on the breakpoint, I can inspect my variables as I would do in any other language. Let me just press continue so that it can continue the execution. And you can see that my test cases are passing. So you can see that by installing the right extensions, VS Code can become a really powerful powerful editor for running and debugging my robot framework scripts. So that's all I had to cover for this video. I hope you find it useful and thanks a lot for watching.